Hi everybody, um, I'm going to be showing you really quickly how to put a developed piece of film cut into a little circle over your rangefinder window on your Leica um, 3 series, your Barnax, or your Barnax copy cameras. Um, there's a yellow filter that you can get that screws on over your rangefinder window, but it's pretty expensive, hard to find. Um, and you, if you have a different color, uh, red, yellow, orange, whatever, this is close to an orange, it's like an amber, deep amber. Um, this is really gonna help the contrast, so you'll be able to focus a lot easier with your rangefinder. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is if you have a old like Crayola marker, one of those wa water, um, I guess just like water washable markers, um, water soluble, whatever they're called, um, the cap size here, is about the size of the window um, that you're going to want to be covering. You don't want to make it too big because then it's going to bend and warp the film uh, that you're putting over it when you screw it back down tight. Uh, but you don't want to make it too small because you don't want it to just fall out when you're walking around. So this cap size is pretty on, on it. So what you're going to want to do is take this film, just if you have like a little extra on the end of your film that you developed, cut it off. Um, Make sure it's not the black part that has been exposed to light that's developed. You want to have that pretty transparent orange color going on. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is you could take this marker, put the cap down, and you can either take a pen or an X-Acto blade. Here I'm going to be taking an X-Acto blade and you're going to just kind of mark um, where a couple of points around the tip of the marker. And then once you get those marked, you're going to want to take a pair of scissors and just cut it out and get a pretty, pretty close circle. And if you, if you mark it with a pen, you'll have a lot easier of a time um, getting an actual circle shape. Here I'm just guesstimating. Um, and then once you get... Pretty close. I'm gonna cut all this excess off here so I can just go away, get out of the way. Um, I know this seems a little bit treacherous, a little weird, maybe like a waste of time, but believe me, once I did this, it really made focusing this old camera a million times better without having to get spend hundreds of dollars on a CLA, um, which I'll do eventually, but just for a quick fix. If you're going on a trip and you have one of these Zorky, like a old Nika, whatever, um, this will really help. And then you, you end up with, the lighting is a little weird, I'm sorry, but um, you end up with a little, oops, a little piece like that. Just a little circular bit here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is if you have a little rubber bit or something soft, you don't wanna take a wrench and pry this off because um, you'll screw it up and it just will look bad, and if you ever plan to resell any of these cameras that you have, that you're doing this to, it will look way worse. So if you have a little piece of rubber or anything grippy, um, you just turn this, twist it off, um, and then you're going to take this little circular bit, and you'll see when you take this off um, that there's just a little window and a little bit of a, like a channel around it, like a little gap. Um, and if you drop this piece on top of the window, try to center it, and then put this little thing back on, and make sure it's not cross-threaded, be careful, um, and then you just slowly screw it back on, rrr, rrr, tighten it, tighten it, make sure it's all the way tightened, and make sure while you're tightening that this piece doesn't get shifted over or um, bend or anything like that, because if it bends, then it might distort your focus a little bit and make the contrast a little less or just look worse, um, might pop out sometime. Um, yeah, so you just wanna make sure it's tight, tighten it all the way, put it to your eye, give it a go, enhanced, guaranteed, it'll be great. Um, well, that's it for this video, very short. Uh, hopefully it was helpful, and have a good day.